So let's do another example, but this one uh, where we have negative terms in the series. So let's ask whether this series, uh, the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of negative 1 to the n times n factorial over 1,000 to the n converges or diverges. So what we want to do is use the ratio test, and we're going to calculate the limit as n approaches infinity of a n plus 1. So this is going to be negative 1 to the n plus 1 times n plus 1 factorial over 1,000 to the n plus 1. And then I'm, go I'm going to, as I said before, uh, I'm just going to take the multiply by the reciprocal of a n, so that's going to be 1,000 to the n over negative 1 to the n times n factorial. Okay, so let's simplify this a bit. First of all, so this is going to be limit as n approaches infinity. Uh, let me put like terms over like terms. That'll be easier to see the cancellation. So that's going to be negative 1 to the n plus 1 over negative 1 to the n times 1,000 to the n over 1,000 to the n plus 1, and then n plus 1 factorial over n factorial. So what we can see is that if we simplify these terms, negative 1 to the n plus 1 over negative 1 to the n is just going to be negative 1 to the uh, negative 1 to the 1, which is negative 1. This is going to be 1 over 1,000 when we, when we subtract the exponents. And this is going to be n plus 1 times n factorial over n factorial using that simplification that we saw earlier. So this is now going to be the limit as n approaches infinity of negative 1 times 1 over 1,000. And here we get that cancellation, so that's going to be times n plus 1. Now, what we can do is, since this is an absolute value, we can just get rid of that negative 1, and then we don't need the absolute value anymore, because everything else here is going to be positive. So this is just going to be the limit as n approaches infinity of n plus 1 over 1,000. Now, 1,000 is a very big number, but it's nothing compared to infinity, so that's just going to be infinity. We then simply observe that infinity is greater than 1, and therefore the sum of that series diverges. That's the answer. And so that's how we apply this to a series with uh, to a series that has some negative terms. A simpler way to do this, of course, is simply just observe that anything that's going to possibly turn the terms negative, such as the negative one to the n, we can just take it out at the beginning. Uh, just remember uh, what the original what the series is that you're answering the question about.